What's good, everybody, and welcome. No, don't no, fuck it. What's good, everybody, and welcome to. Fuck it, I did it again. What's good, everybody, and congratulations. I'm. Fuck it, whatever, rolling with it. Congratulations, it's Women's History Month. Yay! Or by the time you guys see this, it will be. And I don't really have a game for the biggest theme of this month because all the games that I play that are portraying women are the ones that sexually exploit women. So, what better yet? So, so basically, I, I thought of a better idea before getting on this video, for, before searching up a woman-empowering game. Because I don't think Dishwasher Simulator is free, and I'm running on a budget. So, what did I do instead? So basically, we're just gonna... Do something, I don't really know, I didn't really find it yet. Just give me a minute, give me a minute, give me a minute, I'll, I'll, I'll think of something. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna write a story, you know, a biggest, the, we're gonna write the biggest woman empowering story ever. I don't know how legit this story maker thing is, but we'll give it a try, we'll give it a try. So, title. Title, do I get to like actually write that? Name of the protagonist. Name of the second character after, name after the object of the story, name after the weather, name after the place where it all happened. Name of the protagonist. Okay, um, set the scene, launch into action, uh, focus on a relationship. What's the most woman thing? Woman thing is, I guess, a relationship. Conflict. Um, uh, resolution, how do I say it? Every woman's ends up like this. Financial or emotional? Ha. Ah. Women are more emotional than niggas, but some chase that money. Mm. Oh, violent is some, but let's go emotional. Let's go emotional. All right. Your protagonist's name. Your protagonist name. My protagonist name is going to be what's a historical figure? Who's a historical woman figure? Um Mia Khalifa. We're going with Mia Khalifa. Is that how you spell Mia Khalifa? Hold on. Ah, I'm missing a cat, I'm missing an H. Of course, Mia Khalifa is gonna be a woman. This is a woman empowering story. Like, why would it be any other way? Your second character's name. Hmm. Second character's name. Hmm. Uh, um. <laughs> Kim Kardashian. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So we got, we got Mia Khalifa. We got our protagonist, Mia Khalifa, and our secondary character, Kim Kardashian. What does the second character want from the protagonist? Ah, uh, what does the second character want from the protagonist? Um, to leave her boyfriend that's 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 boyfriend no boyfriend all right how does the second character feel about the protagonist um she feels negative about mia khalifa because how does she feels bet she she hates mia khalifa because kim kardashian can't fucking pull Half the dudes in her shit, cause she's a whore or some shit. I don't really know which one's the whore. Um, something the protagonist would like to say to the second characters. Hmm, not I love you. Um, they would like to say. What would they like to say? Um, you're just mad that I slept with your oops 
dad. You're mad because I slept with your dad. I need to do that right. Your, hold on, hold on. I know how to spell your, there we go. I'm, I'm proper grammar here. All right, the name of the place where it all happened. Ooh, oh, where did it all happen? Where did it all happen? Where did it all happen? Um, what's the most woman empowering place? What is the place most populated by women? Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Uh -huh. Where is a place in the world that is most populated by women? As of 2021, the special administrative region of Hong Kong, under the control of China, has the highest share of women worldwide. Hong Kong it is! Shut up! Uh, not where I live. Hong Kong. That has the most places of women. How did the protagonist feel about the place? She felt great because it was so woman empowering. Because there were more women than men. A feature of the place. Uh, trees, rivers. I don't really know. I don't really know. Um, sure. Umbrellas. Suggest. Swamps. Fuck it. Two objects that could be used to describe that place. I don't fucking know. We're just gonna fill that in. Four emotion, uh, four emotion objectives. Um, uh, I have no idea. We're just gonna, we're just gonna ran that up. Um, an object, an objective that could describe an object. An adjective that could describe an object. Ah, uh, just gonna tiny. Fuck it, we'll go with it. Six adjectives that describe somebody's character. Let's just autofill all that in, cause I got no idea. Up, oh, nope, we already got that. Um, an occasion. Um, an occasion. Um, funeral. Let's just say. Um, nightclub. No, it's an occasion, like a holiday or a party. A uh, club, nightclub. Fucking three verbs. Um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, fucking, uh, sucking. Dumping, fuck it, whatever. Uh, something slash somebody, uh, something slash somebody vulnerable, singular. Uh, I have no idea. Bird baby, who cares? And now you might compare the main character to. Slut! And now you might compare the other character to. Fake. Fake. She's fake. A type of music. No, the fuck idea. Wait, hold on. Type of music. Does it matter? Uh, type of music. Um, rap. Rap music. The protagonist's favorite drink. Rum. If you if your drink ain't rum, it's 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 not it's not it's not good. Two objects. Dildo. And the other object is pussy, because pussies are objects too. Uh, currency, plural, um, dollar. Um, a noun that, uh, a noun to do with the weather. Um, I have no fucking idea. Uh, three animals, plural. Um, we're just gonna roll the dice on that one. Uh, two body parts, plural. Uh, tits, ass. All right, four objectives to describe physical characteristics. We're just gonna roll the dice on that one. And finally, what's your pen name? My pen name? My pen name is... 
This board. Or this for short, since I can't spell. Oh, all right, here we go. <laughs> Review this generator. All right, so. Okay, so let's just review all this shit. The name of our title is gonna be the name of the protagonist, the opening focus on a relationship. The conflict is emotional. The, re the resolution will be violent. Our protagonist character is Mia Khalifa and our secondary character is Kim Kardashian. Um, Our secondary character wants Mia, Khali wants Mia to leave her boyfriend and the secondary character doesn't like Mia Khalifa. And Kim, wait, no, Kim Kardashian doesn't like Mia Khalifa. Um, the protagonist is, uh, is apparently slept with Mia, uh, uh, Mia Khalifa slept with, um, uh, uh, Kim's dad. And the, they live in Hong Kong. They feel strong about Hong Kong. Um, something, something, I don't really know. I'm not going through all this, but let's just write me a story. Mia Khalifa was thinking about Kim Kardashian again. Kim was a deranged fake with feathery tits and pretty ass. Mia walked over to the window and reflected on her picturesque surroundings. She had always loved deprived Hong Kong with its salty, shaky swamps. It was a place that encouraged her tendency to feel sneezy. Then she saw something in the distance, or rather someone. It was the deranged figure of Kim Kardashian. Mia gulped. She glanced at her own reflection. She was an intuitive, adorable, rum drinker with ugly tits and grubby ass. Her friends saw her as a salty, shaky slut. Once, she had even jumped into a river and saved a victorious baby bird. But not even an intuitive person who had once jumped into a river and saved a victorious baby bird was prepared for what Kim had in store today. The clouds danced like flipping cats, making Mia calm. Mia grabbed a tiny banana that had been strewn nearby, she massaged it with her fingers. As Mia stepped outside and Kim came closer, she could see the united glint in her eye. Kim glared with all the wrath of 6,098 hopeful hissing horses. She said, in hushed tones, I hate you and I want to leave her boyfriend. Mia looked back, even more calm and still fingering the tiny banana. Kim, you're just mad that I slept with your dad, she replied. They looked at each other with sad feelings, like two grubby, gleaming giraffes sucking at a very snotty nightclub, which had rap music playing in the background and two arrogant uncles dumping to the beat. Suddenly, Kim lunged forward and tried to punch Mia in the face. Quickly, Mia grabbed the tiny banana and brought it down on Kim's skull. Kim's feathery tits trembled and her pretty ass wobbled. She looked angry, her emotions raw like a pongy, pong pussycat. Then she let out an agonizing groan and collapsed onto the ground. Moments later Kim Kardashian was dead. Mia Khalifa went back inside and made herself a nice drink of rum. The End Ah. Uh... What? Okay, um, okay, uh, I guess that's it. That's all I got for today. I got, I don't, I don't know. That was all I had. There was nothing. It was, this, this video was a fucking, <laughs> this video was a mistake to be made. All right, well, the, well, I guess that's it. Um, all right. All right, well, I guess that's all the time I got for today. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok and go on Rumble to check out my spinoff shit called Disgusting, where I post fucking a lot of weird shit on there. So, yeah, but don't worry. We'll meet again in the next video. Play him out! Get him the fuck out of here, yo. I'm tired of this shit. This video should have never been, never been made.
again Don't know when Don't know when But I know we'll meet again Some sunny day Each night through Just like you always 